Hey Jeep fans, I did want to do a follow-up on putting an F-134 in a low hood Jeep. Um, last video you saw, we walked you around the engine, showed you some basic modifications. Uh, so now that the engine is actually in the Jeep and running, uh, I want to show you a few more things we did. So let's take a look. So here it is, the F-134 in a low hood Jeep. We will shut the hood real quick, show you that it actually does shut the whole way. Um, pop the belt open. Let's take a look at some of the modifications we had to do a little bit further to get this thing to run. Uh, so we were putting it in the other weekend. We were in a bit of a time crunch to get it running so we could go four-wheeling on Sunday. Um, one problem we ran into, well, one of many problems we ran into, uh, was a fuel pump. I did plan on running a stock mechanical pump, but the pump I had uh, crapped out. It wasn't good um, from new. I think it was an issue on one of the check valves in it. So we're just running a Mr. Gasket uh, 42S electric pump. Um, gave it some wire on the key switch. Uh, seems to be running fine. Um, I did put a little bit of insulation on the fuel line, the rubber line. Um, as you can see, it's lined with some sort of super material. Uh, keep the fuel line nice and cool. Um, let's walk around. Uh, here you can see the Holly 1904. Um, carburetor. See the fuel level in there. See the float. Uh, we did a sneaky little modification to the vent right there so uh, it goes up inclines a little better. Um, I just did a little bit more tuning today. Originally we were running a number 59 jet. Um, so I was running a, a little rich. So I stepped down to a 57. Uh, spark plugs are looking really good. Uh, so I think that's about where I'm going to leave it at. Um, we'll see how it does in this upcoming week with the Fall Colors Tour. Um, so this was probably one of the biggest modifications. Um, as you can see, this very goofy looking and booger welded air horn. Uh, so I took a stock air horn, uh, chopped the top off, flattened it out, welded it back on. Um, put a little bung on here to go down to my um, oil fill tube. Uh, just ran some heater hose on there. Seems to be working pretty well. Um, I kind of wanted to still run the original oil bath air cleaner. So that's why I kind of went the route of chopping this thing up. Uh, chopped up a, what was it? A reproduction crossover tube that I had too. Um, so as you can see, it's probably stock air horn to about here. And then I put on the two inch section from the crossover tube. I also robbed the, the little nub off the crossover tube to hook up the line from the filler neck. Um, one other thing I had to do, if you may have caught this before, but I switched over to a high torque starter. Um, so I was having some issues on the other starter. It it uh, it worked perfectly fine, uh, but as you, as you remember, the the linkage um, comes down in the start area, and it was actually hitting one of the posts on the solenoid. I did have a high torque starter um, laying around that I plan to put in this Jeep anyway. So I tossed that on and it seems to be working pretty great. Um, so I'll start it up, show you how it runs. Uh, fingers crossed it actually starts without issue. Hear the electric fuel pump kick on and we'll crank it over. So as you can see, um, you know, it just started. It's gonna stumble for just a second and then it'll pick up and start running better. Um, you can see the fuel float around there in the fuel bowl. It starts to spin out at a level off, uh, but it starts, runs great. Um, this engine was a little worn out. Um, it still is the standard bore. It does smoke uh, just a tiny little bit, but that's not really too big a deal. Uh, we'll rev it up here. F-134 in a low hood Jeep. Uh, fairly minimal modifications. Um, really the only major things were the linkage, um, using the wagon linkage. Um, and the other big things were the Holley 1904 carburetor and making a modified air horn. And there you have it.